this is the fifth report we've done. And I think the interesting thing about this report is that there are some very specific areas that uh, are different to other reports. So we've got to accept that things like social networking, things like cloud computing, uh, things like mobility are here to stay, and we have to find ways of actually addressing those. Uh, and security, to some extent, is always playing catch up. And one of the things we ought to be doing as a profession is trying to work out where the next bit of new technology is coming down. For us, this will become uh, one of many uh, data points uh, that will build our baselines uh, across the board as we look at a number of aspects uh, that are important to the NICE initiative. I'm also concerned over the fact that um, you know, the Infocom security professionals have indicated that it is necessary uh, for additional training from traditional security skills. Now, I do not uh, see, as a principle, a big difference between cloud services and the traditional computing services. I teach at a university and I have students studying information assurance, computer security, uh, cyber security, or what you would, and they, they are prepared. The question is, are people going to be prepared to have enough of them to actually accomplish the mission. I think social media at the moment is a bit of an unknown to IT people. And the business hasn't articulated the requirements in terms of how they're going to use social media. And certainly IT at the moment um, are demonstrating they actually haven't, had got, haven't got any direction from the business in terms of how to control it, whether to block it or not to block it, or even to, uh, to, to, to apply some sensible IT security policies to social media. I suppose a couple of the conclusions were interesting. Uh, from a concern point of view, I suppose our, our understanding of cloud computing and how uncomfortable we are with things like cloud computing and social networking. Uh, the industry themselves, or the professionals, they, they don't see themselves well geared up to deal with the threats that these, these things pose. Not that none of the threats, the opportunities as well that, that they pose. So they, they see a big skill gap in where they are now and where they need to be to deal with these. And that was one of the big concerns for me. How do you ensure that we don't introduce risks when you bring together the elements of consumerization? That means any device, any access, which we're seeing more and more into companies, social networks, and the mobility aspect, the mobility meaning any time, any place, anywhere. The, the bit about application security is, is quite interesting because it's the first time we've asked questions about application security. And to some extent, that's always been the poor relation of information security. Um, but it's, it's clear from the survey that uh, I think it was something like 20% of people were putting that as uh, one of their top issues. And it's showing that uh, information security professionals are really getting into application security and realizing that as the attacks move up the, um, the ISO stack, that uh, people are attacking at the application level. So getting secure software and secure applications is absolutely key. Uh, in Asia, we have seen uh, you know, a 20% year-to-year growth in terms of internet adoption among Asian users. And I think uh, this reinforces the point uh, of the importance of Infocom security professionals uh, in Asia. As an industry, we have to continue to grow. We have to become and maintain being a learning industry. And that's some way off, in, in my view. We're still a way to go. But I do think we can get there. It's just going to be a bit of hard work and tenacity.